on. You're lucky I like you, people. Hi, I'm Callie, a professional food stylist, and this is the show where I teach you how to style food to look amazing for social media. It's time to plate it perfect. I'm feeling super sparkly today. I'm going to be making a beautiful strawberry champagne punch with an extra special element of gold shimmer. So I'm gonna start out with a cup of sliced strawberries and to add a little sweetness, I'm gonna add some simple syrup and pomegranate juice. This pomegranate juice is gonna give a purple undertone to the pink elements that we're adding into the color of the punch, and it's gonna be really dynamic on camera. So I'm just gonna mash all this together with a fork, and the reason why I wanna do this is to add strawberry flavor into the punch, but also, I don't want chunks of strawberry floating around in our punch. That is not a good look. So I'm gonna actually smush these so they get pretty pureed looking, and then I'm gonna strain them into our punch bowl. And that's such a pretty color. I love the hue. The punch is already looking really nice with that deep red and purple kind of tones to it. And the next step is popping some bottles. I'm gonna open the champagne. Ah! And pour it into our punch. See, that was easy. I wasn't scared at all. I'm gonna open bottle number two. And for color, I'm probably not gonna add this whole bottle, but I wanna add some. Jeez. <sighs> Perfect. And I'm gonna add some Moscato. And now I'm gonna add our ice mold. We use the big ice mold because it's so stunning compared to when the light hits it and when the light's coming through the liquid, but also it's gonna keep it colder for longer so we don't just have little individual ice cubes floating around in here. So this uses that method about making sure you have clear ice. So I brought distilled water to a boil once. I let it sit for about 30 minutes. I boiled it again, let it rest for about another 30 minutes, then I poured it into the mold. So that's gonna keep your ice a lot more clear than if you had just poured regular tap water into a mold and put it in the freezer. And for our final finish, styling touches. I'm going to be adding fresh fruit to our punch bowl. So I have some beautiful punchy green limes. I love the combination of pink and green. This is a beautiful contrast to the pink of the punch. And then these blood oranges. Oh my word. They are so beautiful. Blood oranges remind me of stained glass and I think they look so classy, so festive, so sparkly for our punch. So I'm going to add in the limes and the blood oranges and we're going to stir it all together. Camera-wise, this is so dynamic. This isn't just a normal punch with just some ice cubes floating in it individually, but also the color, all of these elements, everything about this punch is sort of translucent. You have the translucence of the ice and then the kind of stained glass effect of the blood oranges and the pretty light green citrus that also reminds me of that translucence. It just adds lots of depth and color. So I've cleared my area up here, so now I am ready to style the glasses. I'm gonna start it out, dipping the rim in the lime juice, and I just really wanna make sure that we know to really work quickly. Um, if you go slowly on this process, the lime juice will dry on the rim of your champagne flute and it's not gonna look as beautiful and glamorous as we want it to. So just gently, you don't wanna go, just kind of daintily dip that in. Voila, that looks so good. And the thing I love about this punch too is if any of the gold kind of sinks down into the glass, it's gonna look even cooler because it gives it a slight shimmer. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip all four of these glasses. Gorgeous, one more to go. All right, beautiful, that looks even to me. Great, and then as a final touch, we're gonna add these sliced strawberries to the glasses. So for each of these strawberries, I just took a paring knife, sliced down the center, and I try to pick ones that have like perky little tops. They have a pretty red color on the outside. I'm gonna open it up, just place it on the glass, just like that. And now these are ready to be presented. All right, so we have set our sparkly scene. This looks so beautiful. The translucent punch with the hints of pink, the colored fruit and the citrus, everything is reading really well. The ice is holding up beautifully. And I could always add more champagne here. If for photo I wanted it to look more full, I could add more champagne. And then I also have all of our champagne flutes with the gold sanding sugar on the rim, the strawberry that hints at the ingredients, and some of them already have punch in them because I wanna show you guys how to get the final one looking perfect. So I have our glass here and we're gonna fill it up with some of our punch. Hopefully I'm gonna do this without spilling it on the floor. Beautiful. 
Okay, perfect. So we have our liquid in here, and as you can see, if you spill, it's okay, because I can wipe that up later. I just really want to make sure that our liquid is at the right level in the glass. And then here comes our special hint. I love seeing the light coming through um, at this time of day and through the punch, but it's gonna add a little bit even more of a twinkle if we add in more of our sanding sugar, that sparkle, that glitter effect. Look how beautiful that is. And that reads really well on camera. So I'm gonna add a couple more touches. Um, because the recipe has strawberries in it, I'm gonna add a couple strawberries on the surface, almost like we just made this punch and I'm setting it all up. Um, and then also some pomegranate seeds, because when I think about this photo, I think it's beautiful from overhead and at a side angle. And I wanna be able to see some hints of the ingredients throughout the scene. So we're adding in visual cues to what's in the recipe. So I'm gonna also sprinkle some pomegranates, maybe a little bit around here, just a cue into when I might shoot this from a three quarter angle or get a detailed shot what's inside of the punch. And I have some very special twinkly lights. Awesome. And you can find these lights at party stores. I'm sure you could probably order them online. And I'm just gonna move them throughout our little celebratory champagne scene. And as I set them up, I'm gonna wanna weave them more towards camera because they're gonna get a little bit out of focus and it's gonna give you that really dreamy look to your photo. And this is something that I can rearrange when I get to taking the photo. And also on the champagne glasses, if you wanna add more bubbles, you can just top it off with a bit more champagne and be ready with the camera so you can pop that shot right after you add the champagne so it gets nice and bubbly and you can see those sparkles in the glass. Mm -hmm. 